Good morning, Bristol. I'm Cathy, and I'm going to be taking over UE Bristol's Instagram account today to talk to you guys about postgraduate study. So, a little bit about me. I studied wildlife filmmaking at the Bower Ashton campus, which is just next door to Ashton Court. And I graduated in 2016, which is probably why I look a little bit older than most people on this account. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting in the next uh, frame what I'm going to be talking about um, and what I'm going to be going through. And then if you guys have any questions, if you're considering studying a postgraduate degree um, or you just want to know a little bit more, please send me a message um, and I'll get back to you and try and answer them all. For me, there are three main reasons why I chose UWE as my university to study a postgraduate degree. Uh, so number one, um, the course was in collaboration with the BBC NHU, which is based in Bristol. And this was obviously quite a big deal for us. Um, we were mentored by industry experts. We were able to volunteer at BBC events um, and to be able to network with those sorts of people so early on in your career um, and still whilst you're a student was an amazing opportunity. Number two, we were based on the Bower Ashton campus, which is known as the creative campus for UE. And this meant there were lots of other courses there, such as graphic design, um, illustration, music, all these different things, um, with lots of creative students willing to help each other out. And this came in very handy, um, especially for us later on in the course when we were making our final films. But I will talk a little bit more about that later on. And number three, who wouldn't want to come and study and live in Bristol? It's so beautiful. Um, as you can tell from my accent, I'm actually from up north and moved down to Bristol for the master's course and haven't moved since. Um, it kind of stole my heart a little bit. Uh, there's lots of green spaces and parks. You've got the river and the harbour side. It's such a beautiful city and there's so much going on. Um, and for anybody studying our course in particular, it's also known as the Hollywood of Wildlife Filmmaking because all of the top production companies um, producing wildlife documentaries are based here. So it was kind of a win-win for me. I actually still live quite close to uh, the Bower Ashton campus. So I decided to redo the walk that I did every day to uni um, and to actually go and show you the campus itself. Um, I'm obviously not sure if it's gonna be open, but I'll be able to walk around the outside and show you the park that it was based in, Ashton Court. And I just thought it might be a bit of a nicer setting uh, to talk about the experience I had there. Unfortunately, the campus is closed at the moment, uh, which you probably all would have guessed, uh, but I'm just sat on a bench um, just outside, there's the gate, um, and I thought I'd talk about my experience at UWE. So whenever somebody asks me what that year was like, I can honestly say it was one of the best years of my life. Um, I think one of the main things when you're going to study a postgraduate degree is that everybody on that course wants to be there and is so passionate about that subject. So instantly you're put with like-minded people and you know you're all gonna get on and basically be friends for life um, and probably work together in the future, which has definitely happened uh, with the people from my course. I also thought I'd just touch on a couple of things that happened during my year on the postgraduate degree um, that I hadn't really got from my undergraduate. So firstly, again, being on Bower Ashton, like I said earlier, everybody would collaborate. So on this campus, there was um, like a big sort of studio area where people did woodwork and used to build things um, or they'd use laser machines. There's all these kind of things. And um, me and my friend really wanted to build a GoPro rig, which we'd seen on some video on YouTube. And we went to B&Q, bought all of the materials and we came into the university and we spoke to the guy who um, sort of ran that area. And we said, this is what we want to do. This is what we want to build. Are you able to help? And he did, he booked in an afternoon with us and we went in and rather than him just taking the materials and building it, he actually taught us how to do it. And that was something that was really, really cool and I don't think you'd get from many other universities.
I'm now sat in Ashton Court, uh, probably about 50 metres from the entrance and as you can see I am surrounded by fields and trees and fresh air and it is wonderful. Um, it's one of my favourite things about studying here, it was just so good at lunch times and things to get out and sit in the park. Um, but yeah, anyway, so working whilst studying, this is totally possible um, and one of the great things about UWE is that they have this ambassador programme. So I became a UWE ambassador um, pretty much a month or two into studying and they allow you to work on their open days um, and on graduation days and all sorts of other things so it works around your schedule. Um, this also then developed into something a little bit further because UWE actually paid me to produce a video for the rest of the student ambassadors which taught them what the best route was for giving an open day tour, what kind of things to point out, um, what sort of questions would usually come up from prospective students and things. And so yeah, so I did that and it was obviously great practice for me using the camera and editing and everything um, and was probably one of my first ever paid filmmaking jobs. So this has been one of the most popular questions of the day. Um, did going on the postgraduate degree actually help me land my job? And I can 100% tell you honestly that yes, it did. Had I not have done that course, I wouldn't have the job that I have today. Um, so for my final film, I produced um, a short documentary about the management of the Dartmoor ponies. It was a story that had come up quite recently and um, I've come from quite a horsey background. So it was a subject that I was really passionate about. I made the film, it got entered into an Equus Film Festival in New York and I then went on the website to see who else had entered films into the film festival, found my current employers, uh, Equine Productions, and thought, oh my gosh, there's a production company that produces films just about horses, uh, which is my dream job. The fact that I'd got into the same film festival as Equine Productions that year was obviously a huge bonus because without even saying anything to them, they knew that I had the skills that they needed um, in order to fulfill a role there. Um, but I would also say that it went sort of deeper than that as well in the fact that I'd learned how to do risk assessments, call sheets, budgets, um, I could liaise with clients, I could network, um, I could draw storyboards. I'd learned so much on the course and every single one of those skills has come in handy through the course of working there. Um, and in just four years, I've gone from production coordinator to producer. Um, and I, yeah, I, I can't thank UWE enough. And I am, I'm so grateful that I chose to go and do that course because genuinely without applying and making that film, I would have never got the job with Equine. And I'm really thankful because I absolutely love my job.